Hello and welcome um, to part 7 of the Nations League jersey review. We look at group C3, which is the group where Bulgaria is in there. That's why I'm wearing a Bulgaria jersey. If you don't know, my wife is from Bulgaria, so I love Bulgaria jerseys. And yeah, it's also another uh, interesting group with interesting teams in there. And let's get right to it. Um, because two more uh, teams in there are from nations where I actually work a lot with in my job. We have offices in Slovenia and uh, also in Norway. Um, as we see, Slovenia home jersey. I really like uh, the rebranding of Slovenia. Slovenia used to be always green and white, which is actually the colors of Olympia Ljubljana. Uh, which many people didn't like. It's kind of take, uh, let's say, Real Madrid as the Spanish team and will make the uh, Spain jersey all white or take Bayern Munich. Germany plays in all red. That's kind of the idea that was. So the uh, rebrand happened, I think, in the early 2010s because I remember the last World Cup where they were they still played in uh, green and white. And now it is more white with light blue, what that they chose. And then uh, you have, of course, Americans will say a Charlie Brown pattern, but this is actually the Triglav, which is the national mountain of Slovenia with the three um, peaks. And that is the pattern that they chose. And um, after some initial fails, I think this one, it gets a little bit better every time around. Here we have now the mountain pattern. It kind of fades to the bottom on the white jersey. Um, in light blue, I think it always makes for interesting uh, accent on there. One that I really like that they are going with it. Not very fond of the collar to be honest. Um, also the Slovenian crest, I never quite got it with the circles and so on. Uh, it leaves me wanting. If they would use the uh, coat of arms with the Triglav mountain, which they actually have on the back side, I think I would like this much better as a coat of arms. But yeah, overall, uh, I think a nice jersey. I think a Slovenia jersey would be nice to have in my collection as well, to be honest. Um, just for the uniqueness of it. Uh, I like the away jersey actually better. It used the same color uh, for uh, the Triglav pattern, but of course on the darker blue it looks that much better. Uh, really love that one. Also the sleeves, you can see now the a little bit the pattern more. And it has this light green uh, taping again with the Slovenian uh, coat of arms on the back. That one is an absolute keeper. If I would have to choose between those two, I think that's the one that I would choose to have. Although uh, the home jersey is also not that bad. But I think the away jersey looks just a little bit better. And then of course the other team where I have regular work relations with is Norway uh, and no home jersey again by Nike. Nike is taking over like Adidas. Many Nike has many many teams in Europe now. And I have to give it to them. While I don't like the color, the Norway shirt uh, color wise looks awesome. The home shirt. Um, the red base with the dark blue sleeves and then the white collar. You get all the national colors in there. Of course, I wish that there somewhere was a cross, but uh, they also updated the crest. Have the Norwegian flag, then the two lions on there. Really looks nice. I actually, that was, is also that I don't have a Norway shirt is a little bit of a shame because I really want to have a Norway shirt. In the late 90s, Lask had a lot of Norwegian players. And I remember I wanted to have one of those Nova Nor shirts in the late 90s. Uh, always had some soft spots for the Norwegian soccer team in a way. Yeah, uh, the back again has the red taping, has also the Norwegian flag on there. Uh, so that one I like. Um, the Avager is also not that bad, but I don't understand the striping on the top. I like the idea behind it, but it's a too little Norwegian flag like. That's uh, what I miss. Um, you have the white jersey, then you have this. I'm okay with um, um, navy blue uh, chest band that contains the crest and then the white, but then there should be two red bands around it to make it a, just give it a little bit more of a Norwegian flag. You could even do it like the Greek flag and make the cross and have a full flag on there. I think that would look awesome. 
uh, but the way it's done here, there's a little bit too red and the pattern repeats too much. Uh, it actually, if I look at it, I see more a flag of Costa Rica in there than I see Norway. For that reason, I think this is a nice idea, but execution is lacking. Now this group is a little bit all over Europe, because the next one is of course Bulgaria. And first of all, uh, the Bulgarian home kit maybe this time around. I really like the previous version. Uh, probably have to make a post on that one. Uh, it's a little bit plain. But what I like about it is that Bulgaria finally got a better crest. Look at this crest here. Uh, they had this for years and I always hated it with the um, GIF soccer ball or whatever. I never liked it when they saw, saw such a body. I always found this crest really, really boring. Uh, at the 98 World Cup, they were playing with a full call of arms. That looked awesome. Also, when they had at least a triangular flag, it looked better. But the circle and then the ball, it just looked too... Uh, yeah. Boring, uh, without any management, Im imagination, honestly. Uh, now they use the lion on the center of the coat of arms, and I absolutely love it. Yes, there are no Bulgarian colors on there. Um, and the shirt over is really, really, really plain. I like the color. It's not quite the old style, but it reminds me of a uh, tie on collar. It really looks classy, honestly. And the nice thing is this is paired with, of course, green pants and red socks. So you have the flag there. Do I wish that the collar had a little bit uh, of the flag? Yes, sleeve cuffs too. So for that reason, uh, it is a little bit boring. I like, again, I don't, I have to ask my wife, but I think this is a classic um, cloth pattern on the back side of the shirt. Uh, that's also a really nice touch, but it's a, all a little bit too subtle. Um, now do, the last thing is this crest centered. Maybe it would be better on the left uh, chest, but overall there is something really classy about this shirt. It's just a tad boring, I have to say. Uh, the away jersey is a little bit more uh, interesting, or a little bit more uh, standard looking with the short collar, but I miss jerseys like this. I really wish they would make a big comeback and I hope that Homa is doing something to bring this back. It is of course red as we would uh, expect and I love the lion crest. I really love it here. I also love that there is the, um, uh, I think it's still green and white but it's not quite as like on the Bulgarian flag but really nice looking shirts. I think the overall set of Bulgaria is a really really nice one. And then the last team is there is Cyprus, which gets Macron kits thanks to the UEFA program for smaller nations. Macron delivers jerseys based on a UEFA contract. And Cyprus, I think, got nice-ish kits. Uh, if you remember Albania, they got, of course, a little bit more. But here you get Macron style white with blue collar. Although I don't know, the, the collar doesn't really know what it was to be, whether it was to be a crew neck or a V neck. And you get the white sleeve cuffs with the Cypriot crest. Not much more to it. The Macron logo is left and right. Doesn't look bad, but doesn't look uh, ex that exciting either. Uh, reminds me a little bit about uh, the Finland jersey that we saw uh, yesterday. The away kit is a little bit more odd because of the sleeve cuffs having a weird pattern. Same thing on the collar here on the sides, kind of an asymmetric collar. I'm not sure if I like that. I actually don't. And then also on the front you have just uh, on the bottom a white strap that doesn't wrap around. So that one is a really odd looking jersey. Uh, probably of all the ones that we looked so far, the one that I like least, just going through my head, yeah, pretty much the one that I like least of this. Well, let me know if you agree with that assessment and um, all the other shirts as well. Again, League C so far, we haven't seen really bad shirts in there. And that is surprising because we are really, uh, it's kind of this mid, mid low Euro European teams and they all get quite interesting jerseys. I would even argue some of those are better than the top teams have. And that is a great thing to say. Uh, for a collector like me, I really get excited by having all these fancy little jerseys that have all a little bit special to their countries. 
um, especially going for Nike, but also sometimes Macron makes it really interesting. Let me know what you thought about all these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. Because tomorrow we look at group C4. Up until then, bye.